Eviction moratorium is set to end Friday. There's a bill being fast tracked right now in the legislature that would extend the protections until June 30th, but that's for those who have applied for rent relief but haven't gotten it yet. Some say it's not enough. Political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us now. There was a protest on the steps of the Capitol, we understand, Morgan? A very small protest, less than 10 people, but they had a big message. They said if the eviction moratorium is not extended, many people are going to find themselves on the streets. Eileen Tony knows the struggle of being evicted. As a mom having to look her kids in the eyes and tell them, hey, we're sleeping on the streets tonight, literally, is probably the worst feeling a mother could ever feel. She said it took her a year to find housing after that because of the big old eviction notice on her record. So I know what it's like to go through the system, so I help as many people as I can. She volunteers with the Alliance of Californians for Community Empowerment. They held the event on the steps of the Capitol Wednesday, calling for the state to extend the eviction moratorium. It's more than just finances that makes it hard to get help. A lot of the low income families don't have computers, don't know, aren't tech savvy. Assembly Bill 2179 is swiftly moving through the process this week. It would extend the protections until June for all those who already applied for rent relief that are still waiting for their checks. A lengthy line. So a lot of people haven't applied or they've been denied or they're in limbo, not sure if they've been in or not, like if they've been approved or not. On the rent relief website for Sacramento, it's telling landlords that their tenants with eviction notices will be prioritized to get the money. They're telling you that there isn't that much money. They're not sure if everyone's going to get funding and there's a wait list. But if you start the eviction, you'll get more urgency. But their issue doesn't stop there. Like Senator Scott Weiner and Phil Ting, who are opposing the bill, ACCE says if passed, it will override some local protections put in place. We want to at least allow our local municipalities to take care of what they're seeing on the ground, the people who are sleeping on the streets, and address it locally. The bill will be heard on the Senate floor Thursday. People have until tomorrow night to apply for rent relief in order to avoid being evicted. But the California Rental Housing Association said on Friday that landlords can't keep forfeiting rent. They said enough is enough. Morgan, why is it taking so long for these people who need the help to get the money? We know that fewer than half the people who applied for it have actually seen the money in their accounts so far. The legislators were asked that exact question today, and Politico reported that their answer was they fully agree that there needs to be an investigation as to what's taking so long with this backlog. But they said that the immediate issue is the eviction moratorium ending, so that's what they're going to work on resolving first. All right, Morgan Reiner reporting live. A big day coming this Friday. Big solutions needed for a lot of people across the state, including all those landlords who deserve to be paid rent. I mean, mm, yes. they're in a tough spot, too. It's been months, yeah.